tons of excitement on the Mesa for Aztecs men's and women's golf. We know about Xander Shoffley, what he did in the Olympics, winning gold. And San Diego State has a new women's golf coach as well on the Mesa. Lauren Dobashi joining us right now on Extra 1360. Coach, it is great to have you. And I was looking over your resume, and it's so impressive. I mean, your time with Stanford, a national championship. Tell us about this opportunity with San Diego State and what made it so appealing to you right now. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, super excited. You know, I've, I was born and raised in Northern California, so I heard Southern California where it's at, so I guess we're going to really see how that is. <laughs> um, but no, in all honesty, um, you know, what appealed to me is San Diego State represents everything that I stand for as a coach in the sense of the thing that drew me was their overall emphasis on the whole experience for the student athlete. Um, and that's something that, you know, I value the academics as well as the golf. And so, it just seemed like a good fit. I really enjoyed all the people I met. Um, really good vibe. And, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to become a SoCal gal, I guess. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and trust me, it's easy. John and I are both from elsewhere, and we call this home now. So welcome. Uh, I played college football, uh, you know, and, and I remember that our graduation rate was important to our head coach and our athletic director. And I know that's a similar drumbeat here on the Mesa with San Diego State. Do, do things like that, like the popularity of the other programs on campus and the graduation rate and the academics in general, like of the whole athletic department, does that help you in recruiting golf athletes to your program? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think I'm we're fortunate in that golf typically draws student student athletes, right? And so typically, especially coming from a place like Stanford, I'm used to recruiting kids who also want to have high academics. And I think that's a great draw. And I think, um, luckily, like I said, in the sport of golf, typically they're already good students. So it makes my job a little easier. How does the success of San Diego State's athletic brand help women's golf? I'm thinking about, well, first of all, the new football stadium in Mission Valley or San Diego State's men's basketball success over the last 20 years, the football success as well. Uh, obviously, the men's golf success, your program success, Xander Shoffley winning a gold. It, it feels as if San Diego State's athletic brand has never been bigger than it is now. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm getting in right at the right time, to be honest. Um, everything that they've said, like to your point, the football stadium, I think all of that's going to be positive. I think it's going to draw a lot of attention in a good way. Um, to your point, Xander Shoffley winning the gold. I mean, it's only the second time in the Olympics that golf has actually been there. So, you know, have young kids being able to see, like, it's doable to win a gold medal is really cool. And I think that's a huge draw. Um, so it just seems like really exciting times at, at, at the Mesa. At Stanford, did you ever have the women's team play with the men's team? Like, you know, at the same time, so the athletes can sort of trade tips to each other, watch each other play, and sort of kind of raise uh, raise the whole tide and not just individual ships? Yeah, definitely. So that's one thing that um, was really cool about Stanford is we did a lot with the men's team. Um, as coaches, the men's and women's coaches work pretty closely together. And we actually did a co-event um, called the Big Match. So we actually paired a male golfer and a female golfer together in a golf event, and they would play a best ball format. Um, so super involved there. Um, really cool, you know, and it's fun for the players too to interact with each other. And in some ways, their games are very similar and in some ways very different. You know, the guys hit it a long ways and the women typically have a little bit better short games. And uh, <laughs> so it's fun. Lauren Dobashi is the new San Diego State women's golf coach. She's joining us right now on Extra 1360. Coach, as you know, San Diego State's women's golf program is among the most successful programs at San Diego State. They've been in an NCAA tournament for each of the last seven years. So what are your goals, uh, you know, uh, when you get out there on the course uh, with your team? Well, um, definitely vying for that national championship. You know, everything I've seen and Coach Leslie Spalding did a great job building a foundation there, and I'm just hoping to grow on that. And There's no reason why I don't think that San Diego State women's golf can be a powerhouse and be competitive at the national championship. How, you know what? This is the first time I realized, John, this is the first time we've ever had a, a golf coach on our show. And, and I'm fascinated to understand how you coach a golf team. Like, do you play nine Every day, at least, do you play 18 every day? Do you break it down into skilled events, work on bunker shots or approach? Like, how, how do you go about this, or is it a, a mixture of all those things? It's kind of a mix of all those things. Um, it's a lot of playing. It's a lot of practicing, a lot of drills, 
a lot of mental game. Um, mental game is just as important as a physical game in golf. And so, you know, I like to joke that half my job as a coach is also being a psychologist hmm. and a sports psych. <laughs> um, but, you know, you're managing emotions and the benefit to being a coach is, you know, I get to see these kids day in, day out, um, get to know them on a deeper level, know about their personal lives, uh, making sure everything right there and so it's a really cool experience I think one that's kind of unique because we have a smaller team you know typically a golf team is anywhere from eight to ten to twelve kids so you really get to know each player versus having a larger team where you don't just quite have that bandwidth um, and yeah I mean it, it's anything it's playing golf multiple times a week and then mostly a lot of drills and a lot of short game practice yeah yeah that makes a lot of sense I'm such a novice when it comes to golf I'm just I'm looking to hit the ball straight you know most of the time you know so when you have advanced golfers like you'll have under your helm as the the head golf coach I mean what what can you work on that like the amateur can't like can you I mean, like, I remember when I was playing football professionally, one of the things that surprised me is we would practice because I was a center, you know, and in charge of snapping the ball to the quarterback, we would practice with a wet ball. Like it never occurred yep. to me at practice. Sometimes it's going to rain. Hmm. So you better practice rain like conditions, even on a beautiful, sunny summer day. Do you do that stuff too? Like, will you hose down a bunker <laughs> or have like a bad lie day where everybody's just hitting these impossible shots from places up against trees and stuff? Uh, no, not typically, but now that you mention it, maybe I will add that to my mm. uh, practice list. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> Look at this. I might help yeah. the San Diego State <laughs> golf team, John. You probably, maybe they should have hired you, Rit. <laughs> no, that is that would be a big mistake. We'd end up like eating a lot of fast food and just like watching like majors. I, I, because I, I, don't, I don't know anything about golf. You sound very competent. <laughs> <laughs> no, but mainly it's um, basically uh, it's surprising. You know, when it comes to the swing and the mechanics, a lot of these kids come in and they're honed in and they don't really need a lot of help with that. A lot of it's more on course management, learning those things, and then just different situations during tournaments. You know, there's nothing like being actually experiencing it. And so I think being able to be there and help them through those moments, you know, whether it's going down the stretch, coming down the stretch and being in the lead to win a national championship, um, how you handle that situation. And I think being there for those moments to help them guide them through that is super helpful. And then, yeah, on course, on course play is pretty important. Um, but as far as mechanics go, they all know how to play golf. Which puts them ahead of me. Coach, welcome to San Diego. <laughs> uh, we're happy to have you here. Best of luck on the Mesa. We're looking forward to seeing your program out there, and thank you for doing it today. Thank you. Appreciate it.